Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley from fixpectus.com. And in today's video, I wanna talk about if you get the surgery, if you get the NUS procedure and you're still not happy with your body the way it looks, um, how you can utilize exercise to help you actually make your pectus and other elements of the pectus condition look better. So I've already coached dozens of people who have already had the surgery and either one, their surgery was kind of unsuccessful, so they still have a prominent indent, or two, their surgery was successful and their, their chest is basically flat, but they still have the rib flare, they still have the poor posture, they still are really skinny, they still aren't confident in their body. So sure, the surgery lifted their chest, but it didn't address all those other issues associated with pectus. You know, for most people with pectus whose case is just cosmetic, their, their primary goal is just to feel confident in their bodies. And so surgery definitely can help get you there if you have a more severe case in which, you know, having that lift of your chest from like the NUS bar will help, but it doesn't address the rib flare the posture, those things that I mentioned before. And so I've worked with dozens of people across the last decade who have had the surgery who then reach out to me because they're still not happy. I can give an example of my client, Jake, who um, I've been working with, a young teenager who got the, the NUS procedure and it was a success, his chest has been lifted, but he still wanted to sign up for the coaching because he still didn't have the confidence in his body, in his rib flare, in his posture, and he wants to build muscle and gain that confidence in himself. And so we started the training and he's super stoked with the, his response to the training. He says his rib flare looks less noticeable, he's confident in his body, he's getting really muscular and strong and confident, his posture's opening up as well so I'm really proud of Jake and how far he's come and I'll insert some photos and you can see so like these this is the kind of candidate who had a successful surgery and then I've had other clients who had an unsuccessful or kind of successful surgery where it didn't make their chest flat or completely flat and so it's just like someone with a moderate or mild case signing up at that point and uh, same thing you know really utilizing exercise to build muscle in key areas to mask the pectus condition um, so yeah guys it's important if you do get the surgery you still consider and, and you utilize exercise as a mechanism to build muscle and gain confidence in your body because it's unlikely you're going to gain confidence just from having uh, the lift of your sternum alone because of the rib flare and because of being skinny and you know these things that are typically associated with pectus so you know my my tips there is sign up for a program sign up for my coaching like start following a weight training program targeted towards pectus targeted towards building muscles that are going to be key for masking the pectus condition and making it look less noticeable for making your rib flare look less noticeable for making sure you open up your posture properly once you follow a proper program that's progressive and you follow it with a disciplined structure and you change your diet you change the way you eat um, to build muscle you start stretching to open up your posture as well you know when you start implementing all of these things you're going to start feeling way better and gain, and gain that final edge of confidence to, to really like your body, which is ultimately what I'm sure you're after. As well as, aside from liking your body, a lot of the time people who've had the surgery, you know, it doesn't address some pain that's associated with tightness in the muscles and poor posture. So when we start stretching and, and training and exercising, being healthy and opening up your posture, that pain and that tightness often goes away as well. So that's another reason to sign up for the training after surgery. So anyway, guys, if you have had the surgery and you're in that boat, I hope this is helpful. You know, it gives you some motivation, gives you some insight into what it's like post-surgery and why sometimes, you know, the surgery isn't everything you thought it would be. Um, you're not alone if you, you know you didn't get a complete lift and you're not alone even if you did get a complete lift and you're happy with that but you're still not happy with your body okay and um, as I said you know the training is going to be a great thing for you to do um, so if you are interested then go to my website fixpectus.com and book a strategy call with me and we can go from there.